Meditation means awareness. Whatever you do with awareness is meditation. Watching your breath is meditation. Listening to the birds is meditation. As long as these activities are free from any other distraction to the mind. Many people are skeptical when they hear that with meditation it is possible to shift our vibration or our energy. But science just confirmed with over 3000 studies that there are many changes happening to our brain while meditating and attaining different brain waves is just one of the amazing discoveries they found. Scientific interest in mindfulness has exploded recently with the number of academic papers published on the topic increasing by nearly 300% over the past five years. These are the early days for the cognitive neuroscience of mindfulness, but studies point to some very exciting outcomes. The key word here is neuroplasticity. Meditation increases gray matter concentration in the brain in the areas of the brain associated with learning, memory, self-awareness, compassion and introspection. It was found to increase cortical thickness in the hippocampus, which governs learning and memory, and in certain areas of the brain that play roles in emotion regulation and self-referential processing. There were also decreases in brain cell volume in the amygdala, which is responsible for fear, anxiety and stress. Meditation also speeds up brain processing potential. According to a research journal article published in Frontiers, meditation can alter the geometry of the brain's surface. There is a strong link between meditation and the pattern and degree of cortical folding that allows the brain to process faster. They have also found out that meditation practice can help us adjust our brain waves better. Even after the very first time you meditate, you're going to see a significant decrease in beta waves. What are the beta waves? Basically, they are information being processed by your brain, but most of the information your brain processes is useless. That is how meditation helps you decrease mind wandering and your self-referential thoughts, sometimes also referred as the monkey mind. Plus, meditation also increases theta waves that likely originate from a relaxed attention that monitors our inner experiences. They measured also an abundance of alpha waves that are characteristic of wakeful rest. Meditation loosens our neural pathways. During the meditation, unhelpful feelings of anxiety become regulated, meaning sufficiently ignored which enhances better neural pathways to form. In turn, it helps us reduce anxiety, social anxiety and symptoms of panic disorder, loneliness and depression. The effects of meditation even rival antidepressants. Less distractions gives room for the brain to integrate new information and also increases productivity and improves spatial memory, working memory, and sustained attention. Loving kindness meditation also reduces social isolation and increases positive social emotions. In a study published in the American Psychological Association, subjects that did even just a few minutes of loving kindness meditation increased feelings of social connection and positivity towards novel individuals. Interestingly enough, meditation also reduces the risk of heart disease. 
A large cardiovascular study was done and published in November 2012 that shows that meditation reduces risk of heart diseases and stroke. Meditation can help you with arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease and other inflammatory disorders, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, autism spectrum disorders, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, insomnia, headache, addiction, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, PMS and menopausal symptoms, skin aging and more. It helps manage the heart rate and the respiratory rate for up to 8 months after the training period and reduces emotional eating and increases your libido. All of this was discovered in studies with no corporate budget involved and I am not nearly done with what I have found about the science of meditation. So if you did enjoy this video, please continue with watching part 2. Cheers!